This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. To bypass Fast Play, select the main menu button at any time. Fast Play will begin in a moment. Terribly late, you know. Naughty. Ever. It was supposed to be the family trip they'd always remember. See paradise. paradise. But one accidental spell. I wish you and Dad had never even met. Will take them. Did she just do? On their biggest. This is a very bad thing. Adventure. Mom and Dad don't know each other, and they don't know us. What's your plan? Find the Stone of Dreams. You can do anything. It can reverse any spell. Wait. the movie. I hear the more you struggle, the faster you sink. Extended edition, an all-new movie on Disney DVD. Doing things together, that's what family's all about. Building memories. Like watching movies together, that's become a thing we do now more than ever with Disney Blu-ray. My family cannot believe how real the picture looks and the amazing sound. It feels like you're a part of the movie. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! One of the best things Blu-ray offers is all the fun activities my family can play and explore together. Not to mention Blu-ray discs are kid-proof and more scratch-resistant. Plus, your Blu-ray player plays both Blu-ray discs and all your favorite DVDs. And now there's an even greater value than ever before with the Disney Blu-ray Combo Pack. It includes a DVD so we can share the movie experience on the go, wherever we go. Disney Blu-ray, creating new memories. 
And now, look for all these new family favorites on Disney Blu-ray combo packs. A great value that includes a DVD copy of the movie. Yo, Agent Blaster here. I'm two pounds of nasty all you can handle. A guinea pig with government clearance. And by the way, I do okay with the ladies. That's right, you just signed on for Blaster's Boot Camp, a crash training course. Pun intended for the top secret government task unit known as G-Force. Sure, we make it look easy, but make no mistakes about it, new recruits. You're about to get school on a how-to of the sweet elite. Uh, uh. Now pay close attention because we have a lot to cover. First, some questions. Do you consider yourself in top physical condition? And do you consider me in top physical condition? Uh. Don't answer that. Next question. Are you skilled in martial arts? Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Yeah, well, as you get them, girl. Hi -ya. Are you good at communicating? What? I said, are you good at communicating? G-Force, Delta Formation. Okay, if you've answered yes or no to any of these questions, it means that you are ready for the next step in becoming a member of G-Force. Hey! Once you have reached the required levels of physical strength, mental toughness, and special skills, you get to play with the toys. First, let me hook you up with the grappling hook. This baby is old school, but we tricked it up big time. Going up! The grappling hook has over two miles of titanium line and a precision firing bow that can hook you up from, well, two miles away. Now, you already know that I feel a need for speed. These lightning-fast launch tubes have extreme velocity of up to 247 miles per hour. But warning, it's not great to plan an escape immediately after feeding. Yeah! I love my job. I don't just love it. I want to bronze it and put it on a plaque and hang it up. And then I want to polish it and invite company over to look at it. I'm serious. I love my job, which is training you. Next up, say goodbye to Water Wings and give it up for Underwater Rocket Suit. This baby's got sonar navigation and a stealth mode as in undetectable. So when a mission takes you down deep, you won't be left high and dry. What you see is what you get when you're in the G-Force. <sighs> so the next gadget keeps everything in focus. The G900 series infrared scope goggles not only have telescopic accuracy, but are capable of transmitting digital video to any of the G900 receivers. And ladies, doesn't Darwin look distinguished? Moving on, these plasma cutters cut through glass, steel, and are great for roasting marshmallows, as well as busting in on the bad guys. 
tiny state-of-the-art PDA, it has a 4 gigahertz processor and an MP3 player. Plus, I can roll over minutes and free calls to my top five favorite rodents. Now, it all may look like fun and games, and it is most of the time. However, mastering the techniques of these gadgets is key. Now, check out this breakthrough in modern science. Talk about giving the little guys a voice. Hey, how you doing? It's a frequency encoder. It converts into an acoustic syntax discernible by the human ear. What Ben's saying is, with this do that, people can hear us talk. He just like using the big words. But we not only talk the talk, let's take it to the house. We also walk the walk, fly the sky, and into the net. And we do it all without ever leaving the little guys behind. Because size doesn't matter when you're a member of the G-Force. OK, you've almost completed Blaster's boot camp. And if you complete this course, you will get the honor of driving the sweetest ride in counterintelligence history. Ah! This baby's got 3D navigation, laser range fighters, coaxial thermal imaging, and high-tech bulletproof glass shell. See ya! Okay, new recruits, you have successfully passed Blaster's boot camp. I'm still not convinced. You still seem a little human. How about replaying the boot camp video again for any of the pets you may have in the house who are no doubt more highly skilled and superhuman than you? Hey. So long, suckers! I got a world to save! Well, we're always looking for great ideas. We want to do something that has never been done before. Sometimes the ideas come from strange places. This one really surprised me. When I first heard the idea from G-Force, I thought it was amazing. It's fantastic. We fell in love with it. It seemed like a concept and a story and characters that needed to be seen by the public. He's a real genius. Very visual and creative. See somebody you want on your team. So from the biggest names and minds in Hollywood, I'm going to have the G-Force mastermind now join us. So the original mastermind of the project is my son, Hoyt. How did it happen? When, when, when did it happen? Well, I was about like five. Uh -huh. How old are you now? I'm 11 now, and okay. uh, I was in preschool, and what I did was I brought home this guinea pig named Cute Guy, and I got to name him, and I told my dad a story about like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if I had an army helmet on him and like gas mask and all that cool stuff. <laughs> And then it got my dad thinking, so and then he ended up making the story happen. And I thought it was a perfect idea, because here's a little cute character, and if properly equipped with the right technology, he'd be cool. So cute and cool, to me, makes for a great character. Well, I really like playing with my army men, like the G.I. Joe guys. And uh, I thought that the guinea pig would just be great for G.I. Joe, because they're almost the same size. Hey, I'm nine inches tall. I only see the upside. It's really cool because I just told him a little story and then he just got thinking and now it's this huge movie. The idea was developed both with myself and I had a partner, David James, who helped kind of develop the concept. And from that, we went out, made the materials and then pitched the project. So this is what spies do. Jerry Brucker has produced some of the biggest blockbusters in Hollywood, you know, and to think that we came with such a small idea and which turned into a Hollywood movie is pretty amazing. This is the first time we worked together, huh? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah, it was. My dad has been in the movie business, so he's seen the sets and stuff, but I've never seen that stuff before, so it was really cool. Not only did Hoyt Jr. come up with the idea for the movie, but he actually got to play a part in the film. I played two mice. I played the beige one and the white one. Right! I had a mouse named Squeaker, and uh, I that was like my favorite animal. Right! That's why I played the mice. I got to go in a recording studio, and it had a microphone and this huge screen. It played the movie, and then it beeped right when I had to do my line. Mm -hmm. And then I said my line, and then they recorded it. Mm -hmm. And so what was your favorite line? My favorite line was probably poop in his hand. Poop in his hand! Poop in his hand! Poop in his hand! Poop in his hand! Exactly like that. Exactly. That's great. Jailbreak! Jailbreak! 
Well, getting to work with my son was really fun. You know, he got a kind of interesting little cameo part where he gets trapped inside of a uh, dryer that comes washing, comes crashing out of a, a garage door. So we shot the live action side of it, and then later on in the studio, we had to synthesize the idea that he was inside of a dryer. So we built this big plywood box. He barely fit inside of it, and then we screwed that into a piece of plexiglass on it, and then he had to act as though he's trapped inside this dryer. So he did a great job. He really did. Help me, Matt! Let me out! When I got to meet Jerry Bruckheimer, he gave me a high five, and it was pretty cool. Tracy Morgan said, keep coming up with ideas. Try this at home, kids! It's fun to see my dad work on this movie. He's just really cool, and he, he made a movie, and I love him. One thing my dad always says is, use your imagination, and that's what this movie is about. That's what's great about G-Force, is the fact that it's got real heart to it, and that's what we strive for in our movies. G-Force! <laughs> so, if there is a G-Force 2, any ideas? I'm thinking of something. That's good. This is Juarez, this is Blaster, that's Hurley. Yeah. Guys. You guys want to play chicken? You know, I ain't got a little nervous energy here, man. I never did that like this. Can we get, like, physically involved? Oh, what a guy! Guys, I've got great news. You got your badges. <laughs> it's really hard. You guys hungry? I am. Or as your first. <laughs> give me the monkey. Give me the. Give me the monkey. The what? Give me the, give me the monkey rent. No, the monkey's rent. I, I got major problems here. Well, yeah, he is part of the problem. In what way? Well, his transmissions are coming from the core of the computer. Sorry. Oh, My fault. Okay. Sorry. You guys want to watch me hit a squirrel? Hello, gorgeous. Jerry Hello. Bruckheimer, baby. <laughs> Not bad from a kid from Brooklyn. <laughs> Do you guys want a burger? Can we get... Oh, way too fast. Where's all your fancy spy gear? It's back at the lab. Well, that's funny, because back at the lab, I have unicorns. I got my dragon I fly around. My special secret astronaut special flying thing that I get in. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's that time of year again. Are we gonna go to Burning Man or not this year? Speckles didn't make it. He was gonna break out and engineer our escape, but then the mission went bad. Do you know if it's gonna be an open shoebox? Uh, many people don't know that since the Civil War, animals have been used to gather strategic intelligence. Now, our work focuses on developing communication between humans and animals. So, uh, this is the old uh, clean room, so to speak. Uh, you know, make yourself at home. Uh, it's fine. Please don't touch that. All right, if you'll uh, look over here. We have uh, these cockroaches that have been trained to carry micro cameras into surveillance zones, which is, I think, really kind of... Me. Congratulations. Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you this. And uh, those cockroaches are virtually impossible to kill. Watch. That was Marcus. It's a donut. Oh no, Carter. It's a sprinkle donut. Actually, that is Agent Mooch. And he's outfitted in the latest nano surveillance technology. We call him Fly 2.0. Or, you know, Mooch is Mooch. I know what you're thinking. It's pretty neat, right? Yeah, I was just thinking it was neat. And you're probably wondering, like, how, how does he communicate with him, right? Oh, it's killing me. Oh, okay. Then, uh, you're really going to be amazed by this. Guys, almost everything in here can sense fear, so let's show them what we're made of. 
Okay, uh, I see some spiders. Uh, yeah, all right. Some snakes, good, fine, and some... spiders I'm pretty sure they sense that. I've never seen such fat animals in my life. Don't they have a gym around here? A Jamba Juice or something? Lay off the nuggets, man. Okay, but what do we do about the G-Force? They're highly professional. They're probably halfway back to my house already. Hey there, F-Troop. That's G-Force! Look, guys, the only way out of here is to get adopted. Adopted? Uh-uh. Darwin will get us out. That's the first problem. Darwin is not a pet name. And until you start thinking like pets and acting like pets, you're not going to get adopted. For starters, you all need new names. Hurley, look, we appreciate what you're trying Let's to do. Let's see, Darwin, enigmatic leader, tortured by deep-seated insecurities, yet craving the respect of his team while fearing the attendant responsibilities. How about Buttons? From now on, your new name is Buttons. <laughs> he called you Buttons. And Blaster, weightlifting, smack-talking, adrenaline junkie with the heart of a kitten. I'm thinking Cuddles! Call me Cuddles again, and I'm going to beat you with that wheel. This is a waste of time. Wrong, Buttercup. There is no time to waste because we've got nothing to do and no responsibilities. Besides, aren't you tired of having to work twice as hard as everyone else to gain respect in a man's world? Just focus on being cute and you'll be out of here lickety-split. Somebody hold his arms. I'm going to Buttercup his face. Okay, that's enough. Hurley, how do we do this adoption thing? Well, it's pretty simple. Act cute, kid picks you out. Takes you home and bingo, you're part of the family. Except that, well, they never pick me. Or me. But that's because you're such a behemoth they can never see past your Ow. gut. Bucky, they don't pick you because you're part ferret. Lies, vicious rumors. Your mother was a marmot. You will rue the day you cross me, Hurley. Revenge will be mine. Oh, Mom! This is it. This is it! So what do these fellas eat? I'll show you. Follow me. Come out, Denny. See you on the outside! Hey, guys! I can see my future! It's all cakes and cuddles! I think he's gonna throw him in with the snake! Huh? <laughs> Wait, hamster coming through. Oh. 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 Well, you're lucky I'm not in there, Snake Boy, because it would have been lights out for you. Game over. Thanks for playing, cause I would have hit you so hard you would have shed yourself. Then I would have turned you into a nice pair of snakeskin boots. Whoa! <laughs> Run, fat boy, run! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, spiders! I hate spiders! So much for survival of the fattest. Early was a good man. I am so sorry he's gone. And we will never cross Bucky's line again. Amen. It's all Saber, sir. Is this enough probable cause? Steve Rush 
question. We need some sort of diversion so we can achieve our objective. Anything for the G-Force? Let's do this. I have a secret I've been dying to tell. And I would have told you sooner. But I think it's just as well. Now we're all together. It's time to celebrate. Don't you take your friend by the hand. Call your mom and dad and tell them that the party's never going to stop. I'm Selected at birth, train all of our lives. Our mission is classified, but when danger calls, they call us. and this is my brother Cole. And we're from Disney Channel's The Sweet Life on Deck. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Kim Rhodes, their mom. You mean our mom on TV? Whatever. Anyway, we're here to perform a live action version of Snow White. I, of course, will be playing the part of Prince Charming and you've already met Sneezy. <laughs> Please. If you're anyone, you're dopey. Actually, the real reason we're here is to tell you about an amazing new way to watch movies called Disney Blu-ray. Ah, it's more than just a way to watch movies. It's an immersive experience. So is a bath. Why can't you get excited about those? That's a Blu-ray disc. Looks just like a DVD. Disney Blu-ray discs and DVDs may look identical, but they're actually very different, kind of like the two of us. Right, Blu-ray is incredibly cool. 
like me. Okay, but it also holds a ton of information, like me. Hey, I hold plenty of information. I meant useful information. He's got you there. <laughs> okay, but thanks to Blu-ray's protective layer, it's strong and tough, like me. Ow! Oh, a popcorn kernel. Mm, it was unpopped. You see? And most importantly, all your favorite Disney movies are available on Blu-ray. And because Blu-ray discs have five times the capacity of regular DVDs, they have a much better picture. Thanks to their brilliant 1080p resolution, they offer the best in high definition. You want to see high definition? Anyway, on top of that crystal clear picture, Disney Blu-ray features the best high definition immersive sound. Up to 7.1 surround. So you can enjoy a cinematic auditory experience. Plus, you can really crank it when your brother uses words like cinematic and auditory. Dude, we want the movie to surround us, not the police. Wow, surround sound is cool. I know what my neighbor means when she talks about hearing the voices all around her. Mm. She has a Blu-ray player? Sadly, no. And with Disney Blu-ray, you get exclusive interactive games. Aye, and I fancy a round of liars dice from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, where I be matching me mad gaming skills against legendary pirates Pintel and Raggedy. I don't give a grog. I'm playing the Cars Car Finder game, where you search for cars hidden within the movie. Ah, ka -chow. One down, 216 to go. Arrgh! You best be handing over that remote, you bilge-sucking landlubber. <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Yeah! Arrgh! You know, you don't look like a pirate. You just look like a one-eyed girl. Yes! <laughs> Even the chicken's laughing at you now, laddie. Give me this. Okay. Oh, 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 we hey, that's enough. Don't make me ground you boys. Once again, only our mom on TV. Does this look like a face that cares? Ugh. No, ma'am. Okay, then. Back to Blu-ray? The best way to watch movies in high definition ever. This is the last chance to make our mom. History will know who we are. This is the last game, so make it count. It's now or never. And you can even play all your regular DVDs on your Blu-ray player. In fact, they'll look better than they ever did. Okay. Blu-ray sounds great, but I bet it's a pain to set up. Mm. Nope. All you need to connect a Blu-ray player to your HDTV is one cable. It's called HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface. See? Even Dylan can do it. Wow. One wire. Nice. No more cable spaghetti on the floor. No, just real spaghetti. Ooh. <laughs> Dibs. Mm. Okay, I'm convinced. And a little disgusted. Blu-ray player and... One cable. Yup, that is all you need to unlock the power of your high definition TV and immerse yourself in the ultimate picture, superior sound, and amazing interactivity. Wow, the whole family can enjoy Blu ray together. Big time. It puts the family back in family room. Yeah, now if only I could get you to put the bath back in bathroom. Okay, I get it. Jeez. Learn more at DisneyBlu-ray.com. Disney Blu ray. Magic in high definition. Tinkerbell. Look for these and more of your favorite Disney titles on Disney Blu-ray. Disney File Digital Copy sets you free. <laughs> now, you can watch your favorite Disney movies whenever and wherever you want. Are you ready for this? When you buy a special edition Disney DVD or Blu-ray with Disney File, simply take the Disney File disc, insert it into your computer, and follow the easy on-screen instructions. Manuel, relay instructions. In just minutes, the transfer to your computer or video-enabled portable device is complete. Your Disney movie is ready to go. I feel alive! Wherever you go. Quick, fun, and easy. Disney File Digital Copy. Your favorite movies anytime, anywhere, in just minutes. Well, to find out more, visit DisneyFile.com. Look for Disney File Digital Copy in these and other special editions of your favorite Disney Blu-ray and DVDs. Your Disney movies are magic. 
and the magic continues after the credits. Just look inside your Blu-ray disc or DVD for the magic code to start earning points toward fantastic rewards at DisneyMovieRewards.com. Meet Wally. He's been cleaning up our planet for 700 years. And sometimes, he finds it hard to tell what's rubbish and what's not. But when it comes to pirated movies, even Wally can tell. There's a whole world of difference. Don't watch rubbish. Have a movie experience that's out of this world. Imagine if you heard a real fairy. You saw a real fairy. You caught a real fairy. Yay! Now, when two worlds meet... You are the most fantastic discovery of all time. Every museum in the world will want one. Every friend. Tink and Vidya were headed toward that farmhouse a while ago. We have to do something. Every rival... You are the meanest fairy alive, Vidya! ...must unite all their talents. We don't have much time. Hold on! It's working! ...to bring Tinkerbell back home. Presents Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue on Disney Blu ray and DVD. Last summer, Shane and Mitchie found their voice and struck a chord at Camp Rock, and now they're back, but facing a whole new challenge. Next summer, this time if they don't stand up, the Camp Rock they love could shut down forever. Pack your bags. It's a brand new day at everyone's favorite summer camp. Demi Lovato. Kevin, Nick, and Joe Jonas. 
Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam. Coming summer 2010. Only on Disney Channel.